Hi everyone, welcome to Violin Adventures number 19. We're going to start off with a number six coat of varnish on our violin. And by the end of this episode, we have an awesome adventure. Coming up next is a surprise box that arrived here and it was full of Hebrew books, everything in Hebrew. I'm totally grateful for this box of books. They turned out to be some workbooks that I can use right now and some books on the festivals and just a great selection of Hebrew books. exciting box from California. This is a beautiful book in Hebrew. for children. Very nice. I love this. That's really neat. Oh gosh, I should know. picture of an ancient uh, menorah. Wow, thank you so much. Okay, we've started on another violin and this is called the Shirley Violin. Hope you enjoy. Okay, you guys, all right, here we go. So, I am starting out Again, on a violin I had started just briefly called the Shirley Violin. And that's for a special customer. We designed a violin just for her. And I think it's a great size. So I'm going to make another one of them. So we've got a beautiful piece of maple here. Very well, but beautiful piece of maple. One piece back and the scroll ready to carve, but I need to carve the back out, so I'm gonna raise my handy table. I got this adjustable table, and it's been a real blessing around the shop. Okay, this is my table lift. I trust it's going to be a real nice helper in the shop. So this is a nice old table that I got at an auction for a really good price. So I am now going to take it down and use the wood.
Okay, so here we go. We have, I tried Phillip head screwdrivers and they were too pointed. These screw heads are really shallow and really skinny here. So I got a real skinny flat head screwdriver and that's what works. This next section is opening a box. Somebody had a dispute in eBay and they wanted me to make sure everything was okay. So checked it over, everything was good. Just a little peek into the candle factory. There's new colors and new designs. Hope you enjoy. You'll find the link to these candles in the description box below. Now to the machine room. Okay, you guys, I'm in my machine room and I decided to take a break from making violins and harps right now and get this machine room just a little bit more improved. Um, I've been neglecting it. So right now we're gonna work on making a room table that can be really tough. I've been looking and looking and to get something that's really tough and that I can clamp onto, I guess I've got to make it. Okay, you guys, it's dark out, it's late, but got this table finished. I needed a really tough table. Okay, you guys, this finishes out this little area of the machine room. And here's my two by four table. This is what I needed, why I needed it so strong, is this heavy um, antique type machinery. So I think that'll finish today out. I'm gonna quit, but I like that little corner. But along the way, I stopped off at the Natural Bridge State Park, went for a one mile hike up the mountain to the Natural Bridge and at the very top you can just barely see the bridge. But I'll take you along here and just show you highlights of the hike.
Okay, I was in a real need for wood. Wood for my harps especially. We've been checking around trying to find a good source. So we just decided to check this sawmill out. It's called Master's Post Sawmill and it was amazing. Hope you enjoy. you guys this sawmill was amazing the man that runs it even though he didn't have the wood cut when we came because we didn't call ahead we've never been to a sawmill before we just arrived and out of the kindness of his heart he went ahead and cut the wood for me everything that I needed and more then he gave me the most perfect price this guy is a blessing from God you know, all I can say is he's a God-fearing man and doing business with a person like that is just awesome. Well, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up. I love your comments. Comment away as much as you like. 
And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We're getting close to 100. And until next time, God bless you. Bye.